Hey, it's Randa from TheBewitchingKitchen.com and today I'm going to show you how I create my recipe videos or foodie videos. So I do it all in iMovie. So we'll just create new here. And then I take my video clips, which there's a little bit more than usual. Um, and I drag that in there. So as that's thinking, okay, so there's 15 minutes worth of footage there when I like to compress it down to one minute. But if I remember right, I actually left my camera on by accident. So that's where the majority of the time goes. So the first thing I do is I highlight all my videos, go to sound and mute it because if I didn't do that, you'd be hearing my child, my husband, myself maybe telling them not to do things. It's not what you want to hear. So to start this off, I usually just play a few seconds and then I'll pause it just because I like to, um, when I do my videos, I usually let my camera run for a little bit to, to get the shakedown from my tripod after I hit go. So you right click or command click and split clip and then delete it. And if you miss that, don't worry, I'm going to be doing it a lot. So let's see here. Let's see where it gets started. Okay, so I showed that I used the sugar cookie as they are the ones that sponsored me. And see, there's a lot of time left in between. So I'm going to pause it, split clip, and around there too, I'm going to split the clip. This one, actually, I'm going to highlight all the clips, right click, and go show speed editor. So these little lines up top here are the speed editors. And I usually, when you drag it to the left, that makes it go faster. When you drive it, drag it to the right, it goes slower. What's this one? Is this just, oops. Let's see here. So I added that. So that's just going to be adding all the ingredients and mixing. So I can definitely shorten that clip. Let's see how it goes now. I might split it after the ingredients are added so I can um, speed up the, the mixing process. I like to have it a little bit slower when I add the ingredients because then I can actually put um, type what the ingredients are. All right, so right there, I'm gonna split it. So again, you can right click and split clip or command click, or there's the shortcut of command B. So if you're on a Mac, command B, and if you're on a PC, it will be control B. So this one is two, two and a half minutes of me mixing this. So I'm just gonna shorten that down uh, probably to about a couple seconds. Let's see where I'm at. Yeah, let's go down to five seconds. Let's see. Yeah. And then what I did here, this was more mixing and pressing into the pan, it looks like. So I'm going to... Oh, no, that's the other one. Here we go. Let's see how fast that goes. Okay. Okay, that's the one that I was thinking of. I ended up mixing it by hand. And this one is when I sprayed and pressed it in. You'll have to excuse me talking to myself and reminding myself of what I did during this process. And this one is mixing, mixing the cheesecake ingredients. So here I'm going to B, whoops. So added the cream cheese. Speed that up a little bit. So 
sweetened condensed milk, the vanilla, and I ended up adding a little bit of powdered sugar in the end to thicken it up a little bit. In hindsight, I should have added lemon juice. Um, okay, this one I can split here. So pause, split, and then this one I will speed right up. No one wants to watch a video of you mixing something for 20 seconds, so I try to shorten it as much as possible. Where am I here? What's this? 0.3 minutes. Let's shorten that down a little bit. And here. was after it baked and it was cooled. Okay, so I'm going to cut it here, split it. Shorten these. What was, and this is probably when I'm pouring it in. It's hard with the tripod. I wish I could have zoomed out of this, but my lens is actually broken. So I'm only set to one setting and one, um, the distance is, it's set. It's completely stuck my lens. So hopefully I can improve on that in the future. So that can be shortened. This one is, oh, this is where I messed up. All right, so I messed up, but I'm going to keep it in to show people. So I added, I'm sorry, here, I added the cherries while the cheesecake mixture was still, um, it wasn't set. So the cherries just sunk down to the bottom. So instead, so what I had to do was put it in the fridge, let it set, and then put the cherries on top. But I kept it in the video. I'm going to keep it in the video, I mean, so I can show people why. If I make a mistake, I do like to keep it in the video to show that, you know, everyone does make mistakes with cooking. It's a process. We're not perfect. And sometimes those mistakes are super yummy mistakes and turns into a totally new recipe. So let's see here. I can pause that again. Again, I'm trying to make it as short as possible. So it's it's a little tedious. I do go and I watch a lot of the clips and shorten, see what more, see what I can shorten even more. Uh, here, I delete as much as possible. See, I'm down to four minutes. I've already cut over ten minutes out of the video just by fast forwarding. See, you can see that. Do you see how it's starting to sink? And right then, if you had the sound on, you'd be hearing me go, oh, what the hell? So it's okay. I learned. So that can be, yeah, fast forwarded. Oh, the speed editor went missing. If you ever, if the speed editor ever goes missing, remember you just right click or hold down command and click. Oh, it's not working for me. But you just click show speed editor to make it fast. Again, you drag it to the left. And I'm going to drag that a little more. That's strange. Okay. And then this was after it chilled. See here, I really let it go for a while. Split clip. Show speed editor. Fast forward it. Okay, well you get the point. I'm not gonna do the final edits just to speed up this video. So what I try to do again, I try to get all these clips down to a minute. So I'll be doing a little bit more um, editing and finicky finicky things but let's see here what I like to do in the end is add a picture and I think the picture is going to be this one so I just drag it in and then so see how when you click on it it goes over see how it moves to get rid of that crop you click on the crop 
um, button and you go to Ken Burns and see this is why because it starts here and ends there it moves it so to change that just move your start and end to the same thing usually I do this in a landscape picture so it holds up more of the screen but I like this photo more so wherever you want the image to start that's where you drag it and then click and then the end is the same thing so just drag it over I don't know why it's not changing shape size for me let's try this there we go hold down shift and then drag it and then hit crop to end and let's see how much it moves there okay good and then to add the titles so at the end I usually go add this one drag it over to the end and go more recipes and the bewitchin kitchen.com and I change the size to 80 so that's the end title and then for adding the ingredients it's the same thing I usually use this one drag it on top and go one bag Betty Crocker sugar cookie mix and I do that for each ingredient that I add I might have to it automatically um, sets the, the little title to stay for four seconds you might have to change that when you start editing down the videos and then the next part are the watermarks so you have two options with watermarks you can either upload a watermark directly to YouTube which I just started doing. Um, it, it saves you a lot of time. Or you can upload a watermark. Let's see if I have it here. Uh, here's an old one. To your iMovie. Now to do that, you're gonna have to use the dimensions of Facebook, or not, sorry, Facebook, YouTube, which I think is 1920 by 1080. Add your watermark in the corner and then make sure that the background's transparent and then you upload it. And when you drag your watermark to your video up top, you have to do the Ken Burns crop again. Otherwise it's gonna move. See if you watch the corner, see how it disappears. So you have to click on the watermark, go to the Ken Burns, click start and then end. You make sure that the end is the full frame and then it won't move. If I can get it to, there we go and then hit the crop. But I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna use the one I uploaded to YouTube. And then finally, music. Um, you can go on iTunes and buy royalty-free music. Um, I usually spend way too long looking for something, so I go straight into iMovie and use some of the audio um, options there, so the jingles or whatever. So, you know, you can just grab some random stuff. Before I forget, uh, when you do add your music or audio to your video, so for example, I do this. When I play this, this is quite loud. So click on the sound clip, go to the audio portion of it, and turn it down a bit. I try to turn it down to about 50%. Otherwise, it, it, it is pretty loud when it starts playing, say, on Facebook or YouTube. And that's it. Other than that, I file share and I export it usually to a file I have a YouTube folder then what I will do after I have that saved I will compress this even more to 15 seconds so I can upload it to Instagram as well now I hope this helps I hope I didn't talk too fast and just start speaking nonsense if you have any questions um, leave me a comment or send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can I hope this helped